boys. Saturday morning, bro. Like one guy out here. <laughs> Empty. Empty streets, cold, bro. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm just trying to make a video right now about why you should be leaning beyond your edge. You should be stepping outside your comfort zone constantly, which is a, a little translation for you there. So there's a chapter in a book called The Way of the Superior, man. You might have heard of it. Basically just a book about masculinity, that kind of thing, right? And it's titled Lean Just Beyond Your Edge. I don't know if I've ever, I've ever spoke about this before on this channel, right? But I probably have at some point, I don't know, right? But essentially what it's about is that you should every single day of your life you should be constantly doing things that you're uncomfortable with constantly doing things you're uncomfortable with and this is a message that really like changed my life for the better that's why i don't know if i've ever spoke about this before because it's something that really impacted me i've probably hinted at it right but i don't think i made a video about it and if i have then i'm making another one right but Essentially, bro, every single day when you wake up, you need to ask yourself, what is one thing I can do today that is going to be kind of uncomfortable for me? So for me, it would be like, oh, no. <laughs> a lot of the time I don't want to get into a cold shower, so I get in that. Or you see a guy at the gym who looks kind of, Interesting bro, go chat to him for a second. Like I've been trying to do that more often, just speak to more people. And I've seen great progress already, bro. And it's become much easier for me too. And there's times in the past where things that are easy for me now were so difficult. For example, bro, even just getting out of bed at 4 a.m. was like unheard of, bro. Like don't chat to me about 4 a.m. wake ups, bro. Don't chat to me about 4 a.m. wake ups. But the thing is, when you step out of your comfort zone every single day, I'm kind of creeped out, bro. It's never this quiet. But when you step out of your comfort zone every single day, it forces you to grow. And there's, I, want to, I want you to picture something in your head. Imagine like a circle, right? Imagine a circle. And this circle is your comfort zone. And I want you to imagine, actually, let's, let's put it this way. Imagine an elastic band, right? You can imagine an elastic band. You have this elastic band, you're not stretching or nothing. It's kind of like a circle. You want to slowly stretch that band, right? Slowly stretch that band. And it's probably going to keep on growing slightly, right? And if you keep on stretching this band over and over and over again, by small amounts, you're going to end up with like a, a looser, bigger band, right? On the opposite side of that, right? If you get the same band and just pull it to the maximum without warming it up first, right? Without stretching it prior, it's gonna break, it's gonna snap. So what this video is about is, when I say lean beyond your edge, I'm saying lean just beyond your edge, bro. And this is something that so many people get wrong in self-improvement, myself included, bro, for a long time. I did get this wrong for a while. For example, bro, I remember <laughs> about, how long did it take actually? It probably took about seven months, six or seven months from when I started self-improvement to actually do my first cold approach. And uh, I was not ready for it, bro. <laughs> I was horrified, bro. I could not look her in the eye. I wasn't, I wasn't dominant in the conversation, right? I was kind of like, oh, please, please. Like, I was giving her like, feminine vibes, bro, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, I just wasn't ready for it. I just dived head first into it. And sometimes that can be good, right? <laughs> sometimes it can be good to just dive straight into things. But when most things, it's not. For example, it's like, if you're gonna try and quit junk food, sure, just go like complete cold turkey. That's probably beneficial. 
but when it comes to you know actual challenges like fitness or social skills or like, <laughs> trying to read as much as possible actually anything you can think of almost right it's smarter to just slowly improve oh here the cars come boys but it's smarter to just slowly increase how much you can do and it was bad that i did these cold approaches early it was bad i'm not gonna you know i don't regret doing them i don't regret doing them because i learned a lot about myself especially and i had some <laughs> i had a single good experience kind of right i would call it good but it wasn't bad and, uh, um, yeah, I don't regret doing them, even though they were horrible and super uncomfortable and stressful. And I hated myself, but I shouldn't have done them at that, at that stage of my life, right? Because I was at a point where I almost had no friends. The friends that I did have were super low quality. I couldn't even speak to guys around me, really. The only time I'd speak to people was when they spoke to me first. And imagine not even being able to speak to guys and you're walking over to girls <laughs> trying to ask them for their number, bro. Like, it doesn't make any logical sense, right? So, what you should be doing instead, and this is going to be so contrary to what some of the other guys tell you. They say, oh, just go talk to her, bro. We'll just be confident. Bro, what are you waffling about? Respectfully. <laughs> this always did my head in, bro, because I had super bad social anxiety. And all these guys are like, oh, just be confident, bro. Just go and talk to her, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, they're right, right? You just have to go talk to her. But at that point, it's probably going to be a negative thing for you if you just try and talk to her. By the way, this doesn't even have to be about girls, right? This is just the example. Oh, it's starting to rain, bro. This is just the example that I can best relate it to, right? Oh, yeah, it's raining. It's raining, boys. Get my second hoodie on. But, um, see, it's always when I get to this little gas station, bro, I forget what I'm talking about. But yeah, essentially, this hoodie's gonna come flying off, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If it flies off, it's like, well, okay. But, <laughs> see, because I did these cold approaches, I was horrified, bro, but I did them. I don't know how I did them, bro. I was, I was a brave man. But <laughs> I was super embarrassed of myself. I couldn't look them in the eyes. I couldn't ask them things with authority. I just couldn't stand my ground, bro. It was like, imagine you're trying to run a country, bro. And your people have like sticks and stones, bro. And you're trying to invade the richest city in the whole world. It's got like bazookas and trebuchets, whatever, bro. It's not gonna work, is it? No. Like, sure, bro, you're gonna get some, like, mad experience level. You'd have a story to tell the grandkids or whatever. But you're not gonna win, are you? So, I'll tell you what I did now. What I actually did to get results. What I actually did to start improving. Because, I'm gonna be honest, bro, cold approach is not gonna improve you if you can't even talk to men, right? If you can't even hold a conversation with an old woman in a shop, right? Or she's getting your milk, right? <laughs> Going up with cold, in a, cold approaching people, it's gonna do you more harm than good, bro. And you might disagree, like, oh, but you're getting confidence, bro. You're super comfortable. Sure, but I'm gonna tell you what happened to me. I got kind of like burnt out with a rubber, the rubber band, bro. I snapped, my rubber band snapped. I didn't stretch it. Like I had this overwhelming fear and embarrassment after each attempt. I just didn't want to do it again. But let me tell you this, man. Nowadays, if I did something like that, like, sure, I'd be like kind of humiliated for like an hour, maybe. <laughs> but then I'd be back again, bro. Like, because what I've done, I've faced rejection in small amounts, right? You have to get over the fear of rejection, over the fear of putting yourself out there slowly. 
for example, what I started with, I literally, well, this was before my cold approaches, bro. My first ever cold approaches. I just started walking around the park. I couldn't hold eye contact with nobody, but I tried to. You know, I just, I tried to say good morning to people. It didn't work. But eventually I got over it, right? Eventually I got comfortable saying good morning to people. Right? And eventually I was able to hold small, tiny conversations about some guy's dog in the park, right? And then some guys in the gym, I was like, asking for a spot or whatever. I slowly overcame the fear of talking to men to a point where I had, I almost had friends everywhere that I would frequent, right? So for example, if I go to the gym around 11 a.m., 12 p.m., I got like 10 guys who I'm dabbing up and shouting, yo, bro, right? But obviously if I go around this time, there's hardly anybody there, bro, especially on a Saturday. But even when I go at this time, like last week or a week before, I literally got a guy's number from the gym. Cause I just seen him reading his Bible, bro. I was like, yo, you're reading your Bible in the gym. That's sick, bro. So I had like a 15 minute conversation with him. Now I've got a friend who goes to the gym around the same time as me. I've got a friend as well, whose name is Scott. He used to come around this time, but he doesn't anymore. But I still go work out with him sometimes. So I kind of became that guy who kind of knew everybody everywhere, right? So I was constantly getting out of my comfort zone in small amounts, bro, until I built up to this level. But if you understand, right, if I just went into a new gym and just started talking to people all around me with no prior experience, I'm probably going to look like a fool. If one person, like, subtly rejects me, I'm going to be entirely humiliated. But nowadays, if that happens to me, I don't care. I just move on to the next guy because I realise, okay, it's one, of them, it's one guy, he's probably having a bad day. But if you had no prior experience, you wouldn't know that. I remember even, even when I had successful interactions, when I first started, I would have like negative thoughts about it. Like, oh, this guy doesn't really like me. Oh, this girl doesn't really like me. <laughs> She's just being nice, bro. I would have negative thoughts about myself because I didn't build up any confidence with something, right? You have to slowly expand your... You have to slowly stretch out your band, right? To get more and more comfortable. And you can slowly, slowly begin to stretch it more. So for me nowadays, I'm at a level where, you know, if I'm at a bus stop waiting for a bus and there's a girl standing next to me, like this happened like a week ago, I could have a five minute conversation with her like a normal human being, all right? And I'm not like super nervous or whatever. Obviously there's always, I'm not gonna lie to you, there's always a little bit of resistance when you do these things because it's slightly outside your comfort zone. It's slightly outside your comfort zone, bro. But that's how you know you're doing it right. If you're a little bit nervous to do something, do it. Seriously, bro. But if you're having a full-on panic attack, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this, I'm going to faint. Best not to do it, bro. I'm not going to lie. There's certain situations where you should, right? Like, if you have a responsibility, for example, I was at my church a few months ago, and the pastor asked me to do, like, a little testimony. I was kind of terrified, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Because I had to stand up in front of, like, almost 100 people and talk for 5, 10 minutes, okay? And I'm not going to lie, that's my first time ever public speaking. Like, I've spoken in front of, like, 10, 15 people before, and I was nervous for that too, but damn, this was crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> but... I felt like I had a responsibility to do this. Somebody who I respected asked me to do something. And that was the time I had to face my fears, right? And I'm glad I did that, okay? There's certain times where you can do that. But most of the time, you just shouldn't. Like, one time I was at the gym, I seen a girl with her friend, and this girl, she smiled at me. So I thought, hey, she wants me, bro. So I went up to her. I went up to her, I said, oh, I'm not going to say what I said, bro, but it's kind of bad. bad. Right, it's just super baked to male esque right? And she just wasn't feeling it. So, you know, then I was kind of like afraid to go to the gym again. And I've never seen her since, by the way. I think I scared her off. <laughs> but, 
Like, I just shouldn't have done that. Because I wasn't ready. Or, see, I'm, I'm actually going on a tangent here. But you get what I'm saying, right? If you push too far out your comfort zone, you are going to be <laughs> super terrified. It's like, imagine, a, this, this is where PTSD comes from, right? Imagine you're a toddler and like a dog comes chasing you. You're going to be terrified of dogs for the rest of your life. But if you're like 16 years old and a dog tries chasing you, you're probably going to be fine, bro. You're going to be scared for like 10 minutes, right? But then what? You're going to be like, okay, it was just one dog. <laughs> Next time you see a dog, you're probably going to be a bit wary, but you're going to be fine, right? Like it's the same thing with everything in life. If you've got no experience and you go on to like the maximum level of that thing, you're going to terrify yourself. You're never going to want to do it again. So what you need to do is slowly, slowly build up your level. It's like a video game, bro. You need to slowly level up. Seriously, but like... Everything in life has levels. Everything in life you can level up. Everything. I'm, I'm like 99% sure it's pretty much everything, right? So whatever you're struggling with, something that scares you to the core, bro. You have to slowly build up to it. Don't be like, don't do what these cold approach guys tell you. You know, let's pick up artists. Oh, don't worry, bro. <laughs> just, just go talk to them. Don't do it, bro, because then you're going to look like one of these cringy guys, bro. What the hell is that? It was a bird. You don't like one of these cringy guys who just... I don't even know, bro. You're just like a weirdo. Zero confidence, like... I'm not saying this to scare you either. Like, just don't be a weirdo. You want it to feel kind of natural to you. You want to have, you want to have a little bit of anxiety with pretty much everything you do in life. That's when you perform best, I've realised. So if you're completely confident, zero doubts in your mind, you're probably doing it wrong. I'm not going to lie, bro. You always want there to be a little bit of fear in your mind. A little bit of anxiety, because you want to do well. That's a good thing. But yeah, man, like, please, please implement this today. Whatever you're scared of, literally anything. For example, if you have like a hot bath every day, a hot shower, get a, get a cold shower today first. 20 seconds, get a cold shower, 20 seconds. Or if you're afraid of people, bro, just like say good morning to your, to your teacher that you've never spoken to before or something. Or somebody who you work with or somebody at your gym. Just say good morning to somebody. If they look you in the eye, it's pretty easy when they look you in the eye, right? Just do something that you're kind of uncomfortable with. Or what I used to do is, I used to say like an extra few words to a cashier or a bus driver. Relatively easy. That, bro. Nobody's in the gym. There's like five cars there. I'm chilling. And that's probably for the shop next door. But yeah, man, I'm not sure the gym right now. So that's to be the end of this. Just do something you're scared of today, boys. And do it every single day of your life. I don't want you to have a single day where you're totally comfortable ever again, okay? See you later, boys.